Hey, and welcome to part number two of my YouTube videos about the explanation of my tattoos. There's two tattoos that I haven't spoken about in the past video, in the last one in part number one. And it is about my chest tattoo, my most favorite one, and about the runes on my arm. Yeah, people would like my rune tattoos, and I'm glad because, uh, yeah, I love it as well. It's super cool. Uh, IMO, and yeah, that way I'm going to tell you what those runes mean. First of all, about my chest tattoo. Um, why didn't I want to speak about it in the first part? Because I thought the story behind it might, yeah, be a bit longer. Um, I'm gonna tell you the short story. So as many of you may know, um, I've had a pretty rough phase in my childhood back then, or like when growing up, I would say. I've spoken about this a lot in my streams. It was about depression, it was about uh, being in a down phase overall for a longer time. And this tattoo has to do especially with a suicide. It is about a, a story about a suicide, um, a prevented suicide, so gladly no successful suicide. It had to do with a with a try of a suicide with a knife. So this one, the sword, the abstract sword, symbolizes the knife, the knife of the suicide at that day. The hands, it is a pretty famous painting of Michelangelo. I love I just love those hands. Um, and first of all, when I designed this tattoo, I just had the hands without any any special sketch inside because I first of all wanted to do some roots growing out of those hands going over out of my shoulder. But my tattoo artist said, mm, well, that may look a bit weird or like off. Um, and he would like to try something different. And then he set off this sketchy hands and I was overwhelmed. It was so good. And all the other tattoo artists at the tattoo studio were like, holy shit, this is so insane. And every time I step into the into the tattoo studio. They are all so fascinated by those tattoos that I have. Um, this is super cool though, because they have never seen such a constellation of tattoos on the back, on the front, you know, and they really like those because it's a bit different from what other people tend to have. And so further on with the story, uh, those hands are my hands, which prevented the suicide. So back in the day, I prevented the suicide. Um, I was a person that wanted to take his life with a knife and I was there and grabbed his arm, pulling the knife out, out of his hand. It is, it is a rough story to um, think about, um, but I have learned to live with this, um, and this really helped me. This really helped me to like working with it, working with the thoughts. And yeah, it's a bit weird because uh, a lot of people may know this, but these kind of stories tend to be feeling like a dream, you know? If you think about those more, if you work with those thoughts, they tend to be sort of like a dream in your head. Um, so yeah, it's it's a bit rough sometimes, but this tattoo really helped me understand the feelings that I have with this story. And it helped me to move on. Seeing this every day and this, this art piece on my body just helped me so much. I can really describe why and how, but it is how it is. Like tattoos tell my story. This is my story about this. So now that you know this story, I would say we move on to my runes. So for the rune tattoo, first of all, I tell I told you this part over here was the first part that I ever had, right? And those two runes. So let's start off with those two runes. This one over here, the little arrow one, the Taiwa's rune, and it uh, stands for like warrior, the warrior, and justice. This one up here, boys. I can't tell you the name of the rune anymore, but it was um, sort of like creating your own reality. And then the little M over here is the Eva's rune, which is sort of like movement, so to keep it flow. That one also looking like an M, just with an X in it. It's the Manus rune, which stands for the man and the self, like for yourself. Down to here, which is the self-empowerment rune. Uh, I don't know if, it's, if it has a name, but it is the self-empowerment rune. Uh, it's sort of like two arrows facing down with a C, uh, with, with like, yeah, you can see how, how it looks like. And I just combined like all the lines because I thought it would look cool to have sort of the sketchy, unclean line style between connecting and I put this all over my arm. Moving on to my shoulder, you've seen the man, let's go up here. The next rooms are all in my circle. Um, so this is like a Nordic compass. Don't know the name anymore. <laughs> Sometimes the names is pretty hard. But yeah, on this compass, I have different runes as well. We have this one first. Eva's rune is um, about defense. Aldris is for protection. 
Burkana rune, which is fertility and growth. Bungyo rune, which is for blessings. Othalan rune, for heritage and separation. And Lagos, for like water flow, sort of, to keep them flow. Now, on my upper biceps, all the way on my biceps, we have the Jera rune, which is for reward. Going down with Fihu, which stands for wealth and Raido rune, which is for journey. Now left on my inner biceps, we have Uros, which is for strength, now the man itself, because this is really important for me, the self. The, the, the self is the most important one for me. You might wonder why I got this one three times on my body now. I figured like the man and the self is for me the most important one, especially the self one, because I've learned that being yourself is the most important, because there is no other reason to change for people so you would live their dreams or like their lives that they would wish to live besides you living your life i also have um the last one here which is kano which um, stands for opening so this is all of the runes now right so you have seen all the runes have different meanings so that much about the runes overall so yeah these are the stories behind those two tattoos so now you know the meanings of all these runes and you know the meaning of this special one to me i hope you enjoyed the video leave a like and please subscribe don't forget and hopefully see you to the next video.